Right now, I uh, think we're going to swing it on out to San Antonio, Texas, the beginning of uh, the Texas uh, State Republican Convention, and Lubbock County Republican Chairman Steve Evans joining us from San Antonio. Hey, Steve, what's going on? Hey, Chad, beautiful day in San Antonio. We're getting ready for the opening session, first opening general session of the largest political conference in the free world. How, how cool is that? Yeah, this is, uh, for those who don't know, this is, this is larger than even like the national convention, right? Absolutely. We're, we're the biggest, we're the biggest convention in the globe. Uh, somewhere around 9,000 delegates, uh, will descend. And, and when you add in guests and, uh, Guests and alternates, you know, we're, we're 10,000 strong descending on San Antonio, Texas. Wow. That, that, that's awesome. So for folks who don't know much about what happens at these conventions, kind of walk us through, uh, what, what's going to be happening and, and what's going to be happening today. Well, uh, for the most part, a lot, and, and we've covered it before on your show, but the Republican party for all intents and purposes is a phoenix. And every two years, it disintegrates. It burns to the ground, and from the ashes rises the the next generation of party and leadership and and platform. And the convention process is kind of the final act of the outgoing party. So what we'll do here is establish rules and our platform that will govern us for the next two years. So that's that's done by several different meetings, general sessions, um, and caucuses where we'll meet in our Senate districts and determine who our state Republican executive committee representatives will be, who our permanent committee members will be, and then out in the general sessions, we'll adopt uh, final versions of our rules and our platform, and finally our state party chair and vice chair. So today we're just uh, doing that opening session, uh, adopting our supplemental rules that will govern us through the convention process through Saturday, and then we'll move into our first caucus meeting uh, about 11:30 today, that'll we'll start to uh, appoint our permanent committees and uh, move into the the rest of our convention business. For for those who you know maybe they don't get as involved, you know, in the process of of watching conventions or even caring too much about conventions. What why do these things matter? Why do why does this convention matter? Why do the the rules matter? And and, and what the platform is going to be? Why does all this matter? The rules matter, but and the platform especially matters because these are the things that we use throughout the the next two years to not only uh, try to hold our elected officials accountable, but give them some some core principles and legislative priorities that we believe. And if they're going to run as Republican, we hope they believe them too. But something that they can stand behind, and it, it gives those elected officials a support structure to say. I track with the will of the Republican Party. I, my, my opinion coincides with the Republican Party. I agree with the platform. And then we have legislative priorities that we can push on the Texas legislature that says, look, the entire, uh, the, the largest delegation in the free world said this is a priority for them going into the legislature. I think you need to look at it. And oftentimes it is effective. Sometimes it's not, but that's the purpose to get involved is to, is to make sure that that governing structure of the party is is a good, solid conservative structure, but we can develop some bodies of work that we can then use into the next election cycle. Visiting with Steve Evans, uh, chairman of the Lubbock County Republican Party in San Antonio with, uh, I know, a bunch of other people from Lubbock uh, who are uh, down at the convention. Steve, uh, about how many uh, folks from Lubbock normally travel to the, to, to the convention for the Republican uh, Party? It's uh, it's tough to tell who's here. I haven't seen everybody yet. Our delegation is 116 strong. Um, if we can get 50 percent, we're usually pretty happy with that. A lot of people think they're going to be able to do it and then have commitments come up. But I think it's worth noting that uh, our very own Ken Corbin and Rob Snyder are uh, in town with me, uh, part of the process. Uh Cole Shooter's with us, so uh, a good many of the, the KFYO family are represented here. Yeah, very, very cool. Um, when, when when these conventions happen, I know a lot of people look forward to some some of these speakers, maybe not every single speaker, uh, but some of the speakers. Who do you think will be some of the main draws uh, over the over the weekend? Usually the senators have got the biggest draw. Uh, the lieutenant governor and governor, of course, a lot of the statewide will show up throughout the throughout the convention. I generally like to hear that, you know, usually from those guys we don't get to hear from as often, our state senators and uh, um, 
uh, it's probably the biggest draw. Senator Cornyn, I know, is scheduled to speak, so that, that should be interesting. Yeah, uh, very nice. Uh, Steve, I, I think we're going to visit with you again tomorrow and uh, find out more about uh, what's happening at the convention. Any any uh, final thoughts on uh, what's going to be happening today and, and how people can maybe follow what's going to be going on? Well, the, you can go to TexasGOP.com. Uh, that, that may not be the web address. Just Google Texas GOP and <laughs> look for that convention. I rattled that off before I actually checked it. Uh, you can see kind of that uh, – uh, those reports and things that are happening, I understand there is a pretty contentious battle going on in our platform committee. Um, it went well on into last uh, uh, last night in the evening time, and um, a lot of things being argued right now. There's a lot of buzz circulating about censoring various uh, representatives, uh, Texas representatives, and there was even some buzz about senator, uh, censoring our senator, mm -hmm. which is, you know, of course, is a terrible idea, but. That rule is being discussed in rules committee and debated. Some are trying to strengthen it. Some are trying to get rid of it. Um, the platform and resolutions committee, there's, there's motions that have been made to try to use that rule and, uh, overuse it in my opinion. But, um, there is, uh, some interesting buzz kind of how, flying around this morning. How, how much, you know, as, as far as debates go, how often do, do these pour out into the, the public or, or, you know, right there on the convention floor. How, how often does that happen where you see debates break out? We do have debates break out quite a bit, but for the most part, the, the general public outside of the convention doesn't really know. A lot, a lot of people don't care. I mean, right. this is, this is something you have to have a passion for to want to come participate in party politics, but it does affect everybody in Lubbock County in some way or, or another. But uh, oftentimes debates break out on the floor and, and sometimes they get pretty contentious, but um, we have seen quite a few of these things spill over into the media, especially with the application of the Party Rule 44 on Senator Cornyn. There's been a lot of buzz around it, a lot of media on it. I don't think it's going to happen, and I think it's in poor taste, but these are the kind of things that we're looking at and the things that we're arguing about. Very nice. Steve Evans, chairman of the Lubbock County Republican Party in San Antonio. Uh, not a bad place to hold a convention at all in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, Steve, we'll visit with you tomorrow and find out how day one went and preview uh, day number two. Sounds great, Chad. Have a great day. You too. That's Steve Evans, uh, chairman of the Lubbock County Republican Party. Uh, the uh, big convention happening down in San Antonio. It is, it is larger than the uh the national convention uh when you know you have the the national convention what the GOP convention uh in uh for uh, president Trump larger than that convention a lot of Texans who get involved uh in this because a lot of Texans uh, are passionate uh, about not only the Republican Party, but politics in general. 770 5790 1 800 687 0790. Chad AC Show KFYO.